respiration respiratory system of human the system that take part in respiration is the respiratory system today i will discuss human respiratory system human respiratory system or respiratory system of human there are mainly eight parts of human respiratory system are there nostril first of all nostril is the opening part of or first part of respiratory system of human with the help of nostril exchange of gaseous substance occur with the help of this nostril exchange of gaseous substance occur between chest cavity or thoracic cavity and the outer environment and the second one is nasal cavity nasal cavity is the cavity that started from the nostril to the nasopharynx the common or thin and moist part of cavity is the nasal cavity and the third part is nasopharynx nasopharynx is the pharynx is the common part of digestive system and respiratory system is the nasopharynx with the help of this pharynx exchange of gaseous substance occur from nostril to the tracheal larynx and the fourth part is larynx larynx is the junction between the digestive system and respiratory system it contain a lid like structure named glottis and epiglottis with the help of this lid it separate digestive system and respiratory system during digestion and respiration and fifth number is trachea trachea is generally known as wind pipe it contains circular muscle with the help of this wind pipe it circulate or transport gaseous substance from larynx to the or nostril to the lungs is connected one part with the larynx and another part divided into two parts named six number named bronchus trachea divided into two parts at the end of the trachea divided into two parts is named as right bronchus and left bronchus bronchus divided into bronchioles and bronchiolar tube alveolus alveolar tube etc etc all substances are contained inside the lungs so lungs is the main respiratory organs of human respiratory system now last part of the human respiratory system is diaphragm is a membrane that separate thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity divided two cavities with the help of this membrane this membrane is known as diaphragm diaphragm differentiated separated abdominal cavity and thoracic cavity abdominal cavity and thoracic cavity during respiration during exhalation and inhalation diaphragm play a vital role during exhalation and inhalation process now what are the part interrelated with the human respiratory system with the help of a diagram i am trying to explain respiratory system the system that take part in respiration is the respiratory system this is the outer covering membrane of our skull outer covering membrane of skull and respiratory system originated from the nostril and the tube like structure is known as nasal cavity and this is the mouth cavity or buccal cavity and common part of respiratory system and digestive system is nasopharynx and tube like structure is trachea trachea divided into two parts right and left bronchus and bronchus divided into bronchioles alveolus alveolar tube inside the lungs this is the sac like structure is the lung left lung is comparatively a little bit smaller because it contain only two lobed part but in the right lung is three lobed part because because of extra space there is no extra space in the left side because of heart the balloon like structure inside the lungs is the alveolus is the singular form alveoli is the sing uh, alveoli is the plural form the outer covering membrane this outer covering membrane is known as pleura pleura is the outer covering membrane of lung it it form a cavity in between lung and the outer membrane this cavity stored a fluid named pleural fluid helps in protection of friction reduce friction between 
rib cage and the lungs and the lower organ or lower part of the uh, lower part of the membrane is known as the diaphragm it's differentiated chest cavity or thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity now i'm trying to label the parts this tube like part is known as this tube like part is known as nasal cavity it contain different type of mucous substance or liquid substance and trap huge number of germs that can enter into the lungs it's trapped firstly in, in the moist membrane of or mucous membrane of the nasal cavity and the second part is buccal cavity is directly not the part of respiratory system but sometimes we can intake some uh, gaseous substance with the help of with the help of mouth if nostril or nasal passes is blocked nasal cavity is the second part of respiratory system of human because the two opening of the nasal cavity is the nostril is the first part buccal cavity buccal cavity then common part of digestive system and respiratory system is the nasopharynx generally known as pharynx nasopharynx is the common part between digestive system and respiratory system larynx is the junction between the digestive system and respiratory system and the trachea is the elongated tube like part that originated from the larynx and the branches from the trachea is known as right and left bronchus bronchus branches bronchial alveolus inside the lungs and diaphragm is the lower part of or last part of respiratory system of human or human respiratory system lungs di diaphragm directly take part in or play a vital role during exhalation and inhalation process nasal cavity to nasal cavity to diaphragm or nostril to diaphragm all the part are directly associated with the respiratory system respiratory system of human is comparatively complicated system because different organs are associated with this system outer opening part is the nostril nostril elongated or form a tube like structure is known as known as nasal cavity when inhalation occur oxygen receives and when exhalation occur carbon dioxide release oxygen receives during inhalation process and carbon dioxide release during exhalation process with the help of nostril nostril is the first part and the second part is the nasal cavity nasal cavity and the buccal cavity and the digestive system is the common part is known as nasopharynx nasopharynx is the common part generally we known as pharynx junction between the digestive system and respiratory system is the larynx larynx is the junction and form a tube like structure from this junction is known as trachea trachea branches right and left bronchus helps in air flow and branches of bronchus is bronchioles and tube like structure inside the lungs is the is the alveoli or alveolus lungs contain these alveolus and diaphragm take directly take part in respiration during inhalation and exhalation process all the part are commonly form respiratory system of human human respiratory system are interrelated with breathing out and breathing in with the help of these breathing in and out also gaseous exchange occur in the cellular and intracellular and extracellular part of part of human or other organisms in this way respiration process of human takes place with the help of the respiratory organs 